Time to do some damage. We'll do some damage on some stripers today. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Uh, yes, this is a pretty rigged out kayak. This is a tournament grade kayak. If you guys want to know more about that? Let me know in the comments. Alright guys, Connor again, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing uh, striper fishing in kayaks. Water's off the dam. Let's go do it. Let's kill some strippers. It is December something. And I just, I see some top water action. Extremely, extremely unusual. Which means we need to go in there quick. That one little spinnerbait, that's such a deal. It feels weird though, it feels like a catfish. Let's see what it is. That feels like a catfish. I feel like a catfish. Come on. It's a big stripe. It's a big striper. It's a good striper. Yeah, it's a good striper. Look at that. All right. Who would have thought? Striper on spinnerbait. All right. Let's catch this guy. Oh, Ooh, there we go. Or single Colorado one ounce spinnerbait car striper. Alright, man. There we go. Just threw it in there, too. Freaking crazy. There it is. Freaking nuts. Keep them. fish down there. Where you at? There we go. Ooh, striper, dude. That's a big school of stripers. What do you got? That's a striper, all right. Look at that. That's a striper. Oh, that's a striper. Come here, buddy. Come here. 
There we go. Strikers on the spinnerbait today. Oh, come on, guys, come on. We're not keeping them though. We'll let them go. Check that out. Look at that. Beautiful little fish. There we go. Thank you. Throw white. There we go. There we go. Magnum largemouth. A magnum white bass. That's a big white bass. <laughs> That's a big white bass. There we go. Look at this white bass. Look at this white bass. That's a magnum. That's a magnum white bass. On a trailer hook too. So it's been ripping my trailers off. You gotta keep that guy. Holy crap. Let's see white bass that big in a while. Magnums, man. Wintertime fishing. What? Look at that magnum white bass. Hit a one ounce spinnerbait. Mm, yeah. There we go. Striper, man. Stripers. Ah, oh, that dude is destroying my 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 spinnerbait. Oh, stripers. That's a big. That's a good size striper. That's all I gotta say. Shit, look at that. Schoolies, man. Easy, buddy. Let you go here in a second. Let you go here in a second. Woo. Double hooked. Look at that. Mm. Oh. 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 Looks so cool, huh? Looks so cool. Stripers, man. Stripers. Fishery slimed really well. So, oh, look at that. Look at that. All right. There we go. He's good. He's good. Bite is so crazy. That's a striper, all right? That's a striper. That's a striper, all right? Oh, there we go. Come on. That's a stripe. That's a striper. Hey, look at that. Striper, dude. They're off the bank and they're not on the bottom. They're like suspended. They want it halfway up. Kind of 
weird, but yep. Got him. We got him, my friend. We got him. They're halfway up. They're chasing bait. Woo, look at that. Torpedo release. I'm telling you, dude, if you're throwing an A-Rig, it's game over right now. Come on. I know. I know. I know that's a strapper. I hit like the strapper. That's a strapper, all right? That's a strapper, all right? Ooh! Man, I'm telling you, this first time fishing a spinnerbait for stripers. And boy, spinnerbait is killing it. Killing it. Oh, look at that. On the trailer hook, too. On the trailer hook. Freaking Ted trailer hooks, man. Didn't have a trailer hook on this day, on it this morning. I lost so many. Woo, look at that, look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Ah! What happened? I don't know what happened. Fish it. Sad day, yo. Lost the spinning bait. Mm. Wow. Did you feel the pain right there? Dang. That was the favorite spinner bait, too. If this has ever happened to you, go ahead, give me a like. And subscribe as well. Ah, that sucks. There we go. There we go. There we go. What is it? Magnum white bass. Look at this. White bass are giant. That's a big white bass. Come on, buddy. Yeah, so that's what I call a Magnum. Woo! That's a Magnum white bass. Ginormous. good too I mean I don't blame him it's cold as heck feed it for the winter time I am that's a giant 
going into the fish taco fish taco box all right guys let's uh check out we caught nothing but kayaks today released a bunch of course you see the footage already but just how to catch these and keep them they're just good eating size this one's the biggest one that we kept it's maybe a 24 22s 22s that's a magnum white bass that's like a 16 inch white bass that's a big one and that's a big one we got family coming over like i said we got family coming over for christmas so we're keeping some we'll cook some later uh, we're gonna do pretty hungry it's like lunch time so pretty sure we're gonna fillet that one up and we'll uh throw them on the uh the new grill that we just put together it's a new grill testing out so we're gonna do better catch and cook videos decided to go with the cold and we have it rigged up to a 11 pound uh, propane tank and we'll see how we do let's see how we do check it out guys check it out Got two big fillets here. Pretty hungry now. It's like 12 o'clock midday. Been up since six. We uh, caught a lot of fish today, and man, pretty hungry. So we're gonna keep it pretty simple today. We're gonna do a fillet on the stove. We're doing a uh, just a quick pan fry with uh, basic ingredients. But I've done this before, it actually tastes pretty good. So, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just proportion this a little bit because our pans are a little small. So we're just gonna do something like that. You know, you know, you know, bite size, right? Bite size. All right. Just let you know, if that was at the restaurant, that'd be $15. That's right. Oh, are expensive. expensive and wild caught too and and fresh and organic okay so all the health people give me a thumbs up if you know what i'm talking about try to be healthy for 2020 okay but yep a couple of pieces here we'll cook it up for you guys so stick around and you guys will see how we eat season this sucker right up Sea salt. A little bit of a pepper, a black pepper. Just a little bit. I like the smell of it. Black pepper. Lemon pepper seasoning. This is my favorite when it comes to just if you're gonna do this. This is the deal. This or grill grilling grilling fish that's that's the deal so you know don't be shy go pretty generous pretty generous okay there we go <laughs> <laughs> and oh man my oyster stars right, hold up we're asian people we put sriracha sauce in everything oh we're missing butter <laughs> I forgot the butter, that is right. But I need to get that over there though. Oh, please. Here, hold it. Oh, you get? Still going. No, that's the. Is that poison sauce? Yeah. Yeah. That's the real poison sauce. Here you go. Thank you. But it's pretty cold. It's like 45 degrees today. Yeah. I've always wanted to do this. Catching fish and cooking it on the river. See, see what the difference is. Because we always cook it at the house, you know. It's not the same. I'm pretty sure some people will say it tastes like fun. But it's different. Okay? It's not. Start up, start up. Of course, this is just going to be served with rice. And. 
something that I don't see on the internet too much, but this one should, should be pretty good. And start it up like this. Alright, All right, let's fire up the stove here. What's my thing? Okay. Ready? Skin on the bottom. Usually we take the skin off, but I actually wanted to try it like this today. Just to see what the difference is. So, tell me how you caught it today. Today, water conditions are kind of murky. What is it, 46 degrees water temp? And I caught most of my on a spinner bait. I hate spinner bait. But when you become a better fisherman than the average person, you have to throw what, what it's that day. So, I came in today throwing a drink bait. I want to throw a drink bait. I always throw a drink bait. You guys know we love throwing drink bait. But for me, a drink bait was not putting out. It seemed like the water was a little too dingy. Well, I think the best water I saw was probably two feet of visibility. And it just wasn't making enough noise to attract the fish. So uh, I threw a spinner bait for those conditions or a chatter bait. But I was rolling them over rocks and stuff. So they always get hung up. So I went with a uh, with two spinner baits I went with. There's a War Eagle half ounce. And also I went with a Booyah one ounce with a single Colorado blade. And that was a deal for me today. Um, I know you killed it on something else. You can explain it again later. A little bit on dry date and a rigs. The typical cold water technique. <laughs> Typical cold water technique. Yeah, man. Good. So we're just serving it with rice, cold rice. Damn, looks good, guys. Come eat with us. Yeah, come eat with us. Fresh striper. Use your fingers. This striper literally like walked on land and to the stove, twenty yards away. Look at that. Crispy on one side. Skin's real good. I'm blended out too, so. Oh no. Makes a big difference.
Skin is not burnt, okay? It's perfect. No, next time I'll grow. Probably grow side too. No good to have that. Hmm? Good takes too much time. Hmm? Are we gonna do anything about that bloody ass rock over there? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, yeah, that's the fucking eagle, dude. Did that shit. It's not as gamey as I thought. No, well, just the blood got drained out, huh? I don't know, maybe it's just fresh. I don't know. Mm, that too. Mm. I need some more rice. Just a little bit. Like, damn. I'm gonna put a rice cooker in my car now. Get one of those like mini ones. Just thought it was a battery. It's all like it was totally gonna keep me cookie but come back rice ready. It's all that's left. Hey, we hungry. Killed it. Love to take some for you know for 47 he's not here say 47 some too it's pretty good man given like very very limited ingredients it's pretty good mm -hmm. if this was done at the house would be like cilantro green onions Thai chili peppers the works but you know country people gotta eat sometimes and we're out in the countryside like this this is already a luxury Save that for another episode, you know what I mean? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. Alright. Clean up. It's time to go. Oh. We're giving away stickers. Uh, and in order for you to win, we're just going to pick one at random. But whoever can guess how many fish we caught during this video gets a free sticker. So let me know in the comments. We'll pick one at random. See you guys in the next one. Bye.